Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Brenda. And we're from OutsideOurBubble.com, and here we are coming back to you two years later after living in our motor coach. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We gave you the build of the coach, then we brought you the tour of the coach after it was built, then we gave you our one year after living in the coach, and here we are two years now into this, and we've been living full-time uh, on the road in our Tiffin 45 LP motor coach. And still loving it. Still loving it. <laughs> and each other. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read into that. In any case, um, the um, one of the things we've, we've learned uh, on the road for sure is you always make your plans in jello now why do we say we make our plans in jello well because we're sitting here at a coming service center we got 30 miles out from leaving our place and as state would have it um our check engine light came on and uh here we are sitting yeah the downside is today is sunday <laughs> so nothing is open so we have to sit Yep, so everything's closed, so here we sit. I mean, we pulled in here about 11 o'clock in the morning, and we're going to be sitting here all day and all night waiting for the Cummings <laughs> Service Center to open in the morning. So we decided to bring you this video. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do this anyway, so here we are. So in any case, fast-forwarding to uh, some of the stuff about living in the coach. Um, what has happened to the coach since we've had it for the last year? Other than the check engine light just now? Yes, that's, that's the check engine. Yeah. yeah. Um, is our, our driver's windshield... Uh, Shade, yeah, our, our nightshade uh, stopped working. Uh, the motor in the nightshade stopped. Uh, we put a call into Tiffin. It was down in the stopped in the down position, which is kind of good. Yeah. Um, we could have put a call on the Tiffin, and they shipped us out a, a replacement right away. And uh, I installed it because it's I might as well do it myself to get it done. And uh, so that was really the only thing that kind of happened this year with the motor yeah. coach. Yeah, nothing, nothing else really. Uh happened as far as uh repairs or anything everything's been going pretty good yeah we, we got the coach dialed in basically just how we want to live in it um we've added some uh storage space underneath the uh, television directly behind the fireplace oh you just gave away our super secret hiding spot <laughs> well it's a RVer's secret okay <laughs> just don't tell the bad guys who go to the rv parks for other reasons <laughs> um i have to show you may have to get a clip of that and show that on there uh, what else is happening? Um, been working on a little project with a friend of ours that you'll get more information on that coming soon. A lot of you Tiffin owners will be very happy, I think. Um, yes. We had our... Uh, we had our quartzite gathering yeah. in January. Yes, we had our quartzite gathering. As you know, every year in January, quartzite has a big gathering of RVers. People go out and just park in the middle of the desert uh, for free most of the time. Yeah. And... Uh, so we decided to just have a little outside our bubble meet and greet, and or as we call it, Uberfest. Uberfest. <laughs> Uber One of our uh, guests who showed up kind of named it that, um, and they, are, our, our followers, are now officially known as Ubies. Yes. Uh, so hello to you Ubies out there. <laughs> uh, quite interesting enough, we didn't think the gathering would be very large, but we actually ended up having forty-seven coaches sign up to come. 36 of those showed up. Thereabouts, yeah. Thereabouts showed up, and uh, it was a great success. So we're hoping to do it in 2017, so watch for information on that. Yeah, and of course, there's always the link on our blog that uh, you can go over and see what we've done with Uberfest and uh, see if you want to join us next year. Yeah. So um, let's see. What else do we have that we can go over? Um, well, one of the great things about traveling is... Meeting new people, obviously, oh, yes. but also you don't want to forget your friends that you've met around the country. And the great thing is you don't have to. You keep in touch with Facebook or your blog or whatever, but it's nice to be able to plan your routes around different areas where you can meet up and hang out for, you know, a month or whatever. Yeah, and, we've done that. I yeah. mean, we, we've met, met up with people in uh, Arizona. We've met up with people in Hoover, um, Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Um, Texas, Texas. And, and so on and so forth, we, a number of places. So the people you meet on the road, you know, it's always said sometimes to say it to say goodbye to them, but it's not really goodbye if you live in a motor coach. It's going to be see you later if, if you do things correctly. Yeah. And we're kind of we're kind of glad to do that. But also kind of what we're glad about is being able to go back to our home base at Southwoods RV Resort in, in Byron, New York, because that's where our friends, our family, our doctors are all located and our 
all of our new friends that we have at Southwoods. Um, it's a little community there, and, and we, we very much enjoy having a space there. Yeah, as you know from reading our blog, uh, we, we were so blessed in the fact that they uh, built us our own custom seasonal site there. And that and was finished in July. That was finished last July, and um, we've been working on it all last fall to kind of, you know, build a shed and do things that we wanted to do to it, but now this spring we'll be doing some more things to it, but it's it really is our home base now in the summertime, and it's nice to just be able to just sit there and enjoy our friends at the resort and, uh, you know, get to see our family again. And yeah, it's, it's, being mobile is a great thing. Yeah. To be able to travel this lifestyle, if you're lucky enough to do so, then it is a wonderful, rewarding experience from the people to the places to the cultures that you meet. Um, but there's always a good feeling about going back to a home area where you know people like your friends and family. There's nothing like that, and you can do it. So that, that's great. And um, it, it's a good feeling to know that you have that freedom. So if you're looking to go full-time like we have, um, it's, I think you might find it rewarding if you can live in a space this size. And, and we yeah. can. We're, 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 we're very comfortable together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, give me. Um, we also bought a new to us Jeep. Oh, yeah. Um, it was a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And uh, so we no longer have the Saturn Outlook, which was also a great vehicle to tow. Yeah, this, the, the Jeep is awesome to tow. It's really easy to hook up, um, not much to do with it to be able to tow it, and it's just a great versatile vehicle. Yeah, and having a vehicle when you full time, not everybody does it, but most do. And we find it's very important for us in a couple of aspects. You don't want to pack up your motor home and just to go to the grocery store every time you need something. We've seen people do that. We've seen people do that. And we have cats. Um, those of you that travel with pets, you know, if you have an emergency or something, you need to get them to a vet. Right. And sometimes, you know, minutes count in, in some instances. And you don't want to have to pack everything up. You can just jump in a car and go. Yep. So it's that's important for us. Very important, especially when it's a larger rig this size uh, versus the smaller rigs like a Class C or something like that. You could get away with, don't get me wrong, but on a larger coach size, um, you definitely want to have a tow vehicle. Yeah, it just makes life easier. Yeah, make sure you get the right hookups for that too because that also makes life easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, we've seen people, I mean, with, with um, car dollies and such and, you know, while it's good because then you can pick what car you want to tow, you know, you can tow anything on a car dolly. Um, you know, for us personally, we like to tow four wheels down. And so you are limited in that aspect. But, you know, it's still it's still a good thing to, to have. It is. Yeah. Um, one of the other things that's been great about it this year, gas prices. Diesel yeah. has dropped. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so we don't know how long that'll stay like this. But uh, right now, it's been great traveling time because diesel prices are so low. Um it, but speaking of traveling time, though, we we find when we travel, we only like to go shorter distances. We, we we're not in a rush to get anywhere. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. obviously, because we're sitting in a Cummings parking lot for the day. Jello, not, by, not remember, by choice. Remember, travel plans in Jello. <laughs> yeah. So we like to travel, you know, four maybe five hours a day. Um, we like to get somewhere late lunchtime be able to park, set up in a campground, and maybe explore the area for a couple hours. Um, and you're paying to be there after all. Yeah. You know, why would you want to pay there to get in at 8 o'clock at night just to, you know, a few hours later go to sleep and get up and leave? Right. You're just so, paying for that overnight fee, basically. And if you're going to do that, you might as well stop at a Walmart or a Flying J or something like that. Which we've done. Which we've done. Yeah. And we still continue to do so. In fact, this trip leaving from... Um, Burleson, Texas, heading over to Panama City Beach, where it's going to be a two-day trip for us. But for us, they're two long day trips. They're, they're yeah, six and seven hours. Six and seven hours, and it's longer than we like. Yeah, but we have to get there. That's one of those situations we have to get there. However, here we are in the Cummings parking lot, so things happen. Things happen. Yeah, <laughs> and we really haven't had any issues with our engine per se. This is just something that comes up. I, you know, it's something that happens. You never know. It can happen to your car or whatever. Yeah. Um, 
and you just got to deal with it. So we're making the best of it. We pulled into this place. We found a great service center. We're hoping that tomorrow morning when they open, they can get us in. Uh, if not, that was kind of a waste of a stop. Um, I'm sure they'll be able to. Yeah, we're sure. But otherwise, the coach has been great. Life on the road has been adventurous. Yeah, we don't we don't really have any complaints, and we're still loving the lifestyle. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Sp speaking of space, it's amazing even in a small space like this how much you still accumulate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, there, there's an RV rule like you buy a new T-shirt or something. Well, you bring one in, you take one out because space is limited. Yeah. So you have to you know count for every little bit of space and when you're out shopping and buying things even food and your pantry which you may or may not have you've got to say hmm do i have space for 15 rolls of paper towels or <laughs> do i only buy the little six pack <laughs> and then freezer space is a big thing yes freezer space you run out of quickly we discovered and you have to be very diligent on that um for the most part well that's if you're addicted like us to bluebell ice cream yeah that's, that's a problem that's a little problem <laughs> there's a whole blog post on that look up bluebell on our website yeah um i think you'll find that very comical uh also one of the things that we really enjoy about this coach is our wine cellar yeah you heard me right we said wine cellar the reason we call it a wine cellar is because it's underneath the coaches there is, is a refrigerator slash freezer that you can use yeah. and uh, we decided to use it as our wine cellar <laughs> so that's full of wine. Uh, Why not? It keeps the bottles standing upright and uh, you can set it to whatever temperature you want so you can have it set at the perfect temperature for wine and it doesn't take up refrigerator space in your regular fridge so it's perfect. And uh, as far as living on the road, one of the things that we also find, of course, very helpful, which I think we've mentioned in the past, Amazon Prime. Yes. <laughs> Amazon Prime is your RVer's best friend. Why? Because you can get things within two days. So you're not waiting for stuff if you need to order something. And let's face it, on Amazon, you can order just about anything you may need. Yeah. So it's great to be an Amazon Prime member. Um, so if you, if you, you know, if you've never thought about that, then uh, that's the reason, um, to become one is because now you can just get a package in two days and not have to worry about you know is it going to make it in time well and most commercial campgrounds will accept packages for you yes it's rare that we've come across one that will not um now that's not counting like national parks or state parks things like that they, yeah, they won't sometimes accept. they don't even have an office so you know they won't accept packages but in that case you just send everything to the local post office general delivery and then you can go and pick it up there. But most campgrounds will yeah, accept it. they'll things. accept it. And that, that's great because, like I said, if you need something, Amazon is there. And you can get it in two days. You don't have to worry if you're going to have to stay somewhere long enough to have a delivery come in. Yeah. So in any case, that's a little tip for you there. Otherwise, um, we're just going to keep on traveling around the country. You'll find us uh, for most of the summer up in Southwoods RV Resort at Byron, New York. Feel free to come on by. Drop us a note. Let us know if you're going to be in the upper New York area and um, by the way in case you're curious Byron New York is right in between Rochester New York and Buffalo so you have Niagara Falls right there so if you've never been you yeah, got about that 45 minutes away you got the Adirondack State Parks uh, you can travel through if you're heading that way you can go to there um, you can Watkins Glen so there's a number of things in the area Letchworth State Park which was the number one state park in the country dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so any case uh, Feel free to find us there most of the summer, but then, of course, we'll head out. And, yeah, we'll probably be doing Quartzsite again this coming 2017, as I mentioned. Well, and in the summertime, we do hope to maybe do some, some smaller trips and just use Southwoods as our base and, you know, maybe hit Vermont or Maine or something. But, you know, just shorter trips for a week or two. Yeah. Well, this has kind of turned into more of, like, what we've been up to and what we're going to be doing versus uh, how's it been living in a motor coach for two years? Well, but if you can't tell... There's not much more to, not, to it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's life. It, it, to us, it's life. It's it, life, yeah. And it's it's a pleasure to be able to do this. And it's in, our, our, our motorhome has treated us very well. Uh, we've met many friends on the road. Yeah. And um, I, I just, you know, I don't know what else to say about our, our another year. You know, if you were expecting these new improvements or a new coach or something. Nope, not yet. Um, but everything is same old, same old, except for our little customizations here or there. Yeah. Um, not much though at all in that regard. Not much. And um, just living the dream as 
people seem to tell us that's what we're doing. And we are. And you we can are, too. And we're very, we understand. We're very lucky to be able to do this. This, this time, um, you know, you have Wi-Fi and you have very good data speeds usually around the country. Um, you know, so it does make it possible for people like us to be able to do this. To be able um, to work again online. Yeah. I mean, we've been married 21 and a half years. We have no kids except for our cats. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're just, we're just lucky enough that we can do this and we, and we love it. You know, some people are like, how can you be in such a small space with just, you know, your, your partner and not kill each other. And it may not be for everybody, but for us, we, it works in our house. We were always together anyway. So it just works for us. And we don't have the big overkeep of a giant house. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> any case, Hey, listen, thanks for following us, following along with us this year. Um, you know, on, on our website, we just wanted to give you a little talk real quick on video because we figured it'd be a good thing. Don't know if this was interesting to you or not, but life yeah. is life and we're living it in a motorhome. <laughs> so, um, oh, by the way, one of the things that we're going to be doing, because we've been coming up with sayings, we're going to come up with t-shirt sayings. Like, for example, life is better when you're in the left-hand lane, trademark. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's true. If you're a motor coach owner already and you're driving, you know, life is better. Life is smoother, if you will, in the left-hand lane. Well, make your plans in jello. Make your plans in jello. That's another one. <laughs> so, uh, any case, we, we, we might have some fun. We would make up some uh, RVing t-shirts and put those on our site. We won't make money just like everything else. So they'll be, they'll be at cost from Cafe Press. Yeah. But, uh, I think it might be it's some, fun. it might be fun. <laughs> In any case, I'm David. And I'm Brenda. And we'll see you next time. We're from OutsideOurBubble.com. Take care. Keep safe. Bye. Bye.